Okay, so I'm back to do the lid. Now, when we cut these main pieces out, I had you write outside to show the inside. I'm sorry, to show the outside. So what we have to do is on one of them that you wrote outside on, you need to write inside on it so that when you put it together, they line up properly. So here's what I'm trying to say. See, this says outside on the back right here. Can't see it. There you go. So this says outside. Okay. So when this piece lays on top of it, instead of it saying outside, it should say inside because this piece has to go on top of this this way for your lid to fit properly. So on the, on the lid part where it put outside, you want to put that as inside. That's the part you're going to build on. It's going to go down over the top of your lid. So this will go this way over the top. So again, we're going to build this just like we did the bottom. We're going to take and I'm just going to put these guys off to the side. So I start again with the seven inch side. I'm going to go ahead and peel, oops, fold these in half. Peel this off. And if you're watching this before you make it, it took right at 26 strips, construction strips, to make this. Okay, so we're going to put this in here. We're going to, whoops, just like the, the bottom, we're going to line it up at our points. Then we're going to lay it down. So that one's there. I don't know, is this this one or is this this one? Then this one's going to go here, right? Yes, okay. So then this one is, now I got my strips all kind of screwy up. That's okay. So again, we're just going to build this one the same way we built the, the bottom. Put your pa paper on your strips and stand them up and lay them down. And so you should be pretty familiar with this way of doing this. And I have already gone ahead and colored my the tips of my chipboard to be black. Okay. So these you're going to need three, three of each size for each spot. And we got to have a long one here okay. and then now we come over here to these guys these are two and three quarters and this should be three and an eighth Yep, and then this should be a two and three quarters. Okay, so. Okay, so there we've completed step one again. Let's get this out of the way. So then we need to have our eight pieces that are one and five eighths long to go on the outside edge. So I believe, let me see here. These are my one and five eighths inch strips. Okay, so here's my one and five eighths inch strips. These are the ones that we are going to take and attach it just to one side. And don't do the other one just yet. They're the ones that when we put the glue in and we fold it up, it's going to hold our, hold our um, 
sides in place for us. So stick one on each one. And oh, I see. There's a and one on this side too. My strip stuck out further than my chipboard did. There. Okay. Um, put this in there. And one more. And by all means, if your strips. You get them on there and you see them sticking out, protruding farther than they should be. Trim them off. Because you don't need them to be binding up when you're trying to make everything line up. Okay, so there's, we have, these are all attached. We have all our side strips on. Now we're going to take our glue and we're going to, again, just put our glue. Whoa. And it's going to come out all at once. Where's my... Let's see. Okay, that's better. Put our glue down in here. And this time when you fold this up and we get it up, we really want to make sure there's no glue sticking out because we still have to put our strips down at the bottom. We're not putting another layer of chipboard in this one like we did on the other one. So, okay. That is on. So now I am going to go around here quickly and peel off all these side ones so that when I start folding them up, I can just fold them up there. Okay, so all those are gone. So just pick any spot and start folding them up. And again, make sure your tops match. Make sure this is level across there. Ooh, this is a short piece. That's okay. Oh. Oh, I didn't. I didn't ink that. That's for sure. And this is another short strip. That's okay. I'll show you what I mean when I say a short strip. It's going to get covered up, so it's going to work just fine. Okay. So all of my tops match. Okay, so this is what I meant when I said, oops, a short strip. It doesn't go quite up to the top. It looks like I got it on crooked, but it didn't go quite up to the top. And that's okay, because we're going to cover it up from the top, and we're going to reinforce it from the inside. So now I'm going to take my thing here and wipe out, wipe that glue just so that it doesn't, you don't want it beat it up, because then your, your strip's not going to lay straight when you get it in there. It's not going to lay flat. Okay, so let's kind of wipe it down. If you have any of your strips, I know there's one here somewhere that's stuck up above the chipboard. What am I doing? I thought I had one. Maybe I didn't. Yep, right there. So this sticks out. See that piece of, piece of paper sticking up? So I'm going to cut that off. You don't want to just go ahead and try to put your other one over the top of it. It's just going to make a lump in there. Okay, so now, before we put the top ones on this time, we're going to put the inside ones on. So these are eight of them, and they're only one and a half inches tall. And again, these are the ones that we cut the, we cut the angles on them, on each one at the top. This way, these will cover, with the lid, they will cover the, um, the top piece that goes over the top will cover them. That's what I'm trying to spit out. So get your get your tops trimmed. And like I said, you don't have to cut all the way to the fold. Just they can see this has a square top on it. 
Let's see, how can I get it to where you can see it's square? I probably can't. Here. See how that has a square top on it, not a point? It doesn't have to have a point point. It can, it can have a square top. It's not a problem. It's probably better off if it does have a little bit of a square top on it. It'll fit in there better. Okay, let's clean all those off. So now we're just going to stick these in the same way we did the other ones. We're going to peel off both sides. And then I'm going to stick it down in there where it goes. Just like that. Okay, so we've got all our sides up. Um, we've got the, I'm putting on, I did part of it, but I'm putting on the strips that go over the top edge and that go down inside, that go up against this edge, just like we did on the bottom piece. So I will continue from here. So again, like I say, it's just a repetitious of the other one. But I did leave a few of them to do on camera with you. So this is basically the finishing before you paper it. And there's one note that I want to make. Whoops, don't peel that one off yet. When you go to do your papering on the inside of this, on the lid, you want to be a quarter of an inch short on the lid. I guess I need to put the inside ones as I go around. So when you're putting your, your paper on the inside, because I'm not going to do that on video. I'm going to let everybody kind of do their own thing with it. So when you go to put your, your you line it on the inside with your paper, you're going to measure the distance from here up and I mean, always measure it. Mine does measure. It should measure when it's completed. It should measure one and a half inches. I cut my paper at one and a quarter. You need the last quarter of an inch to be free so that it doesn't add an extra thickness to the lid, which could create it, make it go on even tighter. And it might even mess up your paper depending on how thick your paper is. So my suggestion on that is just to cut it a quarter of an inch. You, you cut these at one and um, you cut them at one and five eighths. So an eighth of an inch is the double thickness of this chipboard. So therefore, you're going to have one and a half inches. So cut your paper at one and a quarter inches, and then if not, you can feel free to push it all the way down to here. There does not have you don't have to center it in here. I pushed mine all the way down here and left that quarter of an inch up here, and it worked out perfect. So. If you don't, if you make it go all the way up to the top, your lid, like I say, it may not fit properly over, over your, um, the sides that stick up. And I'm going to show you that in just a minute here after we finish putting these last few pieces on. Then I'm going to show you, and I always say, hold your mouth right when you do the next step because it's going to tell you whether things, <laughs> whether they got lined up okay. Okay, one more piece after this. Okay, this piece and then we're done. And this one goes over this last edge. Come on, what are you doing? There you go. So, whoops, okay. Okay. So we have all of our edges are covered, all of our joints are covered, and here's our bottom, and so this should fit on there snug, and it does. See that? It fits down there really nice. It fits on very nice. So what I was getting at is if you put paper all the way to the edge here, 
it'll make a difference in the thickness up against this edge. And it already fits down snug. It already fits tight. See, I can pick it up by the by the lid. I'm picking it up just by the lid. And if you the lid won't fall off. There it is upside down. The lid is already snug. So if you put a layer of paper up there, it's going to make it even tighter. Now, if by chance, if by chance your lid is loose, go ahead and make your paper go up higher. It'll tighten it up. Because you just don't realize how many lay when you start layering paper, how much it changes the thickness of something. But this is, like I say, there it is upside down. And the lid stays on it. So, there you have a coffin that will hold a mini album. And the mini album that I put in mine was 5x6 uh, was a perfect size to put in there. So, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you make one. And thanks for watching.